speaking of substances, Nick Rakane is on one, guys. This is actually, I know. Oh, Rakane, well, no. fuck. This is crazy. No, Rakane is talking about how he's wearing lingerie. And like trying to he's convince us. He's talking about how he's a male cheerleader in college and high school. And how he used to throw underwear parties with the other male cheerleaders. In and lingerie. he'd have his wife around other male cheerleaders in lingerie. It's and he's rough. trying to tell people that if they laugh at this, they're evil. He's sad about me. He's upset. He's like, Worski, it's out oh, of pocket. God. It's not right. It's like, he's what? Like, oh, and he was an idiot during the game. But even if, like, if, even if fucking Rakeda resurrected your career during that time and you owed him everything or whatever, even if it, his distorted version was true. Yeah. It's like... Oh, sire, shove the bottle up your ass, sire. I shall follow you to the gates of the baldo, sire. Put on the baldo. I shall never laugh at you, sire. Tell me you wear women's lingerie, sire. The king and emperor has such fantastic clothes. Yes. Like you're just owed like a lifetime loyalty. of loyalty to him. Yeah. Because he was nice Mr. to Lakeda, you. Mr. Oh, sire. Please. You're so sexy, sire, putting the bottle up your ass. You were nice what to me one time. What an incredible decision. I shall be in your debt forever, sir. Like, what does he is? Like, fuck it's off. Just some fucking delusional shit in his mind. Can you believe it? Warski's laughing at me when he did aim, aim. If the guy who did aim, aim is laughing at you, but you fucking fail. Let's go, Phil. he did during aim 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 was to say oh they're not gonna go to jail because stand your ground laws are really strong in florida two years later that's it wow then he did a pre-recorded segment on the fuck ralph festival big dog this refused to be live and purposely streamed over our yeah, it stream. streamed over our show yeah he streamed but then over we our owe show. him like this lifetime of gratitude and debt that we have to worship the baldo and worship the bottle up his ass worship him in women's lingerie like i'm sorry bro when you go through this segment today because we're gonna play all the shit that he did just today and then we're gonna go by the way the full hmm, shall we worship it sire yes because you were nice to andy one time fucking three years ago by saying he wouldn't go to jail where were you like did you give him money when he was broke did you lift him from the gutter did you bring him on your show no no where is any of the you know what i mean like for this lifetime of loyalty this lifetime debt that you supposedly owe him to where you can't point and laugh at an alcoholic crying as yeah. he licks the bottle and puts it up his ass yeah like it's just baffling why should i be in his debt guys we're gonna do a place your bets actually during that segment it's going to be after we watch all of it. We're going to go, place your bets. Should we not laugh at Nick? Let me how tell you. Can we, how can we not, though? It's, That's the real question. Yeah. Like, when you, you leave us no choice. Like, we tried to sweep it for you up until you put a bottle up your ass. Yeah. Then I went, Whoa, right, and, I, okay. and he's like, I don't know, man. I'm like, but he's put a bottle up his ass. No, I was man, down fucking to fucking Tolerator was saying, like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm a Ricada fan and da 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 and it's like, but he's put a bottle up his ass. It has, something has to be said. It's no longer just risotto, risotto, risotto. It's really. It's he put a bottle up his ass. He shoved it And then a baldo his... upon his ball sack. There was like a point also, and, and, and also he's dying. Yeah. It's not, and by the way, he's like, he thinks that dying rules. <laughs> he like, thinks it's, it's the best. It's, this is the best thing I ever did in my life. He loves was it. Was dying. Oh, that was way better than lately. Yeah. It's so bright, though. By the way, we're wa the folder for Nick Ricada. It grows. It's like seventeen shows. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna start. We have to start clearing shit out. <laughs> like, I went in today. I'm like, okay, this is too old. This is too old. There's one clip that's getting too old, but it's so good. Which is when Rakeda screams at his lawyer friend for 30 straight minutes about Josh Moon. We have to watch that. He just, like, you remember the fat guy with the gray beard? Who yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like George R. R. Martin at home. Yeah. Yeah, that fucking guy, Rakeda's just screaming at him. <laughs> and it's, like, so good. Like, he's losing his mind. And the guy's like, are you okay, man? He's like, why are you asking me if I'm okay? What am I supposed to do? 
let Josh piss in my mouth. There's another one today where it's like <laughs> he's complaining about the rules of the internet. Yeah, it's not, and it's that not the one. rules of the internet are shifting, and he's just upset that there's not like a one size fits all PR solution for every single person but on Earth. It changes, of course, depending on what you do. Well, depending who you on are. the context, he's like, "But I'm leaning into the joke." And it's like, but it's not a joke, though. You actually fucking put bottles up your ass and, you're and let Drexel dying. fuck your wife, and you're actually an alcoholic. It's not a joke. This is what you are, and people laugh at you about it, and you're upset they laugh at you, and then you're like, well, I'm leaning into it. Well, yeah, but they're going to still laugh at you. Yeah. Why are you so angry? Well, I don't like demoralizing. But he's like a constant moralizing faggot himself. Who are the people you were telling me today? Who are the people he went after? Mars girl, fucking Maddox. Maddox. Maddox yeah. for years with Maddox, and it's just like okay, so you're you're able to go after other people on the basis, yeah. but he made fun of Jarbo for years too. Yeah, but Ralph, the Malt Ralph, he was friends with Ralph. But this is the thing, right? This is the whole friends. point with Riketa and, and Ralph and the in the whole nine, right? <laughs> is it's like so Ralph was nice to you though, Riketa. But when Ralph shit his pants on stream, he farted. You laughed at him. Yeah. So you betrayed him. That's like the same mentality that Ralph had when he went after you as you're having with us. Yeah. Well, you can't do that. I was nice to you. Get a fucking grip, man. Yeah. This is the internet. Like this is what we're. Like, this is what we do. We make fun of people online. Yeah. Um. Sorry, pal, that it's your turn. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> maybe if you stop being such a fucking mongoloid, maybe just do your internet law show instead of yelling at the trolls and haters all day. Then I wouldn't have to do another segment. If you stop telling stories about putting on women's lingerie, sir, putting on lingerie, and I'm not supposed to laugh. What? Yeah. Are you fucking retarded? You tell me you're a male cheerleader in school. That's... Don't laugh, though. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, though. It's not funny. Don't laugh, bro. It's not funny. By the way, it's like they call me an alcoholic. Because you were you are. drinking and blackout drunk 24-7. Oh, you wouldn't say that. It's impossible. Job last has he lost the lawsuit with Montegraph? I think that's still ongoing. That would be based. Uh, by the way, we want to give a big shout out to Alyssa Clips. Always doing the best. He's serious, Young Chrysler. She's doing the best clips, right, of Nick Kata. Well, yeah, I doing... think she's the only one doing <laughs> clips she's of Nick Kata. She's doing Kata. Lo the Lord's work. Um, no, she's doing a very great job. This is a very interesting day that we're going to be talking. Like, My, this shit's has... crazy. This is actually insane. Nick is seething at me. We'll find He's out. upset about you, Andy. You're out of pocket for making fun of him putting a ball, a, a bottle up his ass, a baldo upon his shaft. And, well, I mean, how do you not, here's the thing is, how do you not laugh at Well, that's at the Nick? thing, right? It's like, you can't make fun of that. Yeah. It's like, what, what are we to do? Sire, sire, oh. oh, let me pledge my fealty to you forever, sire, and that you were nice to me one time. So therefore I owe you a forever loyalty to turn a blind eye to you putting bottles up your ass, sire. Wearing the baldo, sire, I shall not laugh. You shall put on women's clothing and lingerie and flaunt it and Sire, I shall not laugh, for you are my god king, sire. You, the one who invented law tube, sire. You were nice to me one time on stream, sire. But so therefore, we cannot make fun of you letting your wife be fucked by other men, my king. My liege, sir. Please, please, my liege, let me How do you not touch the hem of your garment, sir. The hem of your baldo, sir. How do you not make fun of this guy? Hey, guys, we're going to be doing a show today where You're drinking about... yourself to death. You're no, dying. Allow me to bring you another fifth of booze to drink yourself to death, sire. Funny. Forgive oh. me, sire. Hey, Nick, put the bottle down, you fucking... <sighs> I don't know what to dog. say. Like... He's a retard. So, sorry, Nick, we will be making fun of you. We'll watch that <laughs> clip the hat. at the end. Um...
Nick is my inspiration so for is... quitting drinking fully. Look at this shit. Is this uh, so he starts off right here. Let's start right from the All beginning. Right, guys, check this out. These this... guys are sitting here and they just... And by the way, after this conversation, there's a clip of them just shitting on Ricada. No way. And they were like his friends in law team <laughs> for years. And they can't even believe the shit he's telling them. Wow. So we got, so we got uh, Ivan and uh, Matt Fudbusters. Wait, do I know Fudbusters? Anyway. Confirmed. Also, Nick only wears thongs to protect from zippers. May I also make an observation here? The, doesn't his nose always sound so stuffed? <laughs> Is he railing the lines? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think so. His, it's, he just, his. he naturally has a nose hey, like guys, that. Hey, guys, how are we talking about the, uh, this donation here? Watch, now that I said it, you're going to be like, fuck. Bro. Get ready for what he's about to say. It's just crazy. I don't think. This is a long story, guys. Here's the short story. Do you hear it? Yes. I bought <laughs> Lady Rackets all of the lingerie on the planet because lingerie on women is great. But when we ran out of lingerie to buy, she's like, I'll buy you mangerie. Pause. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Ashton, you described this clip earlier to me that he wore this in high school or whatever. Not this no, 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 no. It's crazy, bro. Like, there's another clip. Where he's talking about underwear parties with the male cheerleaders on I the squad. I thought this was like an old story. No, 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 no. So he still currently wears this. What the fuck? So mind you, by the way, he's apparently bought all the lingerie in the world for Lady Rockets, which, Love first it. of all, simpler. He's simping for his wife. <laughs> simpler. But, like, that's not true. You didn't buy all the lingerie at Victoria's Secret, Nick. They come out with new ones all the time. Yeah. His excuse is he's bought all the lingerie possible for his wife. So when you do that, even if you did do that, the next step is apparently to buy lingerie for yourself. To put on fishnet okay. stockings we... and fucking... Is lingerie a different type of... I'm not a fag... So can you explain this to me, Ashton? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't mean it like this. <laughs> can you explain it to me, faggot? <laughs> sorry. Yes, sire. I shall explain the faggotry of the mangerade to you, my liege. I just meant you watch the clip. That's what I meant. Uh, no, so it's like, just let's play it. <laughs> Sorry, and she I meant you watched the clip. Fuck. Sorry. Dude. Brought me mangerie with the zipper. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Zipper. I gotta, I gotta interrupt you. I gotta interrupt you, Ivan. The guy has a gun. <laughs> He's so disgusted with Rakeda. He like wants to kill Rakeda with the gun, or he's like just wants to put the gun in his own mouth and end it all. <laughs> he has one bullet in there. He fucking. Spins the fucking <laughs> chamber. Is it a fucking revolver? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Can you find out who asked? <laughs> who asked? He goes, can you tell me who asked? Is this on YouTube? Yeah. Are you allowed to hold a gun and go like this? Just to brandish a firearm? <laughs> really nilly I don't know here. the rules on YouTube. Who asked about you wearing lingerie, pal? That's Tito. Who, who's this Matt guy? He rules. Well, you'll see. They fucking press him in the later who clip. Who asked? I gotta, I gotta interrupt you. I gotta interrupt you. Ivan? Yeah. Yeah. Can you find out who asked? <laughs> uh, I will go ahead and do some research here in the archive. Who asked what? So there's ask what? I don't know that you wear fucking lingerie. The craziest thing. I'm sorry, Sire, for making fun of you wearing lingerie, Sire. <sighs> Please, Sire, forgive us. We will just oh, meet your peasants here, Sire. You are a king of the interwebs and we cannot mock you, Sire. Please. <laughs> Please, you, you covered the Johnny Depp trial, my liege. <laughs> we can't make fun of you putting on women's undergarments and getting your penis stuck in the zipper. Forgive us, me lord. My lord, lord forgive us, have mercy upon us, me lord. This like, them. what the fuck are guys, we supposed them, to do? Them. Can you believe that these guys are making fun of me? Everyone's like, yeah. Like, yeah, well, man, yeah. like, it's pretty fucking retarded. You're fucking wearing nuts. women's clothes, you psycho. Nobody fucking asked. Yeah, nobody asked about the laundry. <laughs> anyway, so oh, Lady Rag is. <laughs> so he keeps telling his story. Nobody fucking they asked. They clearly don't nobody want asked. him to tell the story. 
Nobody fucking asked Wait, for this. So it's like he goes, it's like me being like, oh, hey. And I make up a random name in our chat and I go, you asked about my workout sesh today. Let me tell you. And then everyone's like, "Wait, no one's asking. Worski, you fucking nut. That's the laundry thing. <laughs> anyway, so Lady Rackets buys me this mandra and has a zipper right over the penis. Imagine. How do you not beat your wife? Sorry, I'm kidding. Well, he, like, kidding, the kidding, thing kidding, is, kidding. she didn't buy it. He bought it. Okay. Because she doesn't work. So Rikeda purchased himself. I was joking, by the way. At his, apparently at his wife's request. Just because your wife asks you to put on women's clothes doesn't mean you should. The danger. Nor should you, if you do. If you do choose to do that, don't tell me. Don't tell me you're putting on women's clothes at your wife's request. What the fuck is he thinking? How to get made fun of on the internet 101. My God. I man. read someone in chat's like, is this a Nick win? Is it? Is it? Like, what do you mean? Bring it up, the W there you that know, he's like, wearing lingerie. By the way, Ash, how dangerous is it to have underwear with a zipper right on the cock area? Well, he'll tell us. Uh, yep. And um, the thing Wait, about. How do you know what a penis is? I, I asked Matt Walsh. Oh. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed. <laughs> like, what the what fuck? What an incredible joke there. You got a gun? Oh. <laughs> That's a good it's answer. Reasonable. <laughs> That's a solid one. Yeah. yeah, so it's got it's like this. Uh, it's not a thong. That's very racist. It's just briefs. Whatever. But it has a zipper so that you can zip down over the penis. But the thing is, it doesn't have that, like, you know, jeans flap that covers the dick. And so it's just this exposed zipper. Seems like a serious design flaw. Why does he keep putting his penis in all these sort of contraptions? Wait, wait, yeah. Baldos and fucking male lingerie. Most, all, Most men don't have this problem. This is actually, this is actually, he's wearing straight up this is bondage? Yeah, man. What She's the fuck? In like a leather fucking gimp outfit. Why would you be on his show? Well, why is he telling us this? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> this guy, Fudbuster. He's you're, clearly you're, really uncomfortable with this whole situation. I'm telling you, Fudbuster's mindset right now. You ready? This is going to be on the Kino Casino. Well, he's like, I don't want to be associated with he's this. He's like, fuck. That's why he's holding a gun to go, look, guys, I swear I'm not part of this. If you zip down and you're not paying attention, it zips your penis into the thing. And it I hurt. thought Bud Bosses was frozen. <laughs> look, 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 just at, look at the no, look of pure disgust no, and hatred no, no, look in at, his eyes look, for no, Kakeda. No, look, does it not look like he's frozen? Watch. And so it's, okay, watch from here. Okay, watch. Does it, I thought he was frozen. Look. Just this exposed zipper. If you zip down <laughs> and you're not paying attention, it zips your penis into the thing. And his eyes slightly move. Okay, well, okay. And it hurt, Matt. It hurt me. Wait, so he did hurt his dick on it? Yeah, no, that's what he's been saying. Is that he hey, trapped honey. his zipper in the contraption that was upon his cock. The male lingerie. The mangerie. Fuck. Hard. Oh! This guy fucking... This guy instantly this points the gun at him, like... <laughs> fuck you. How funny would it be you shot his screen? <laughs> So that was the first clip. That the coffee. What? We're not allowed to laugh at that. We have to go, Sire, Sire, your clothes are so amazing, Emperor. Emperor, your baldo is so glorious. Please let me touch the hem of your baldo, sir. We have to sweep <laughs> that up and look the other way. We're not allowed to laugh at that. Okay. Okay. Now he's going to tell us all the difference between cucks and voyeurs. And once again, the question is, who fucking asked? What are we supposed to fucking do with this shit? Oh, yeah. You know, he, he's the greatest. He's amazing. He's a king. Let me get my broomstick for you, sire. Let me sweep it all away. All those meanies making fun of you, sire. 
They don't understand your glory! Your oh, kingliness! The bottom. That wasn't crazy at all! <laughs> that wasn't funny! It's not funny! Please! The exalted one, his excellency Nick Ricate is before us! It's not funny! It's not funny! Please! Leave him alone! Let's let's look this up. Avoy your Christic. He's now a cuckoldologist. <laughs> He's studying the science of cuckoldry oh, to let no. us know all the different brands of cocks. What's this? Um, here we go. Oh, this is what's happening with his nose. We have a thing here. It's he drinks so much alcohol that it creates nasal con a congestion. The blood vessels around your nasal cavities will expand. So his nasal because he drinks about. One bot, one forty a day. No, twenty six. Twenty six or a day. So it's not good. It says relating to or denoting sexual pleasure gained from watching others when they are naked or. Why would you let? Excuse know? me, sir. That's not the factually accurate definition of cuckoldry. Oh my god! Allow me to look it up for you in the Webster's dictionary. Listen, listen. I like mm, jerking yeah, off. So... Engage in sexual activity. Voyeurs are just cucks squared. I disagree. Look, uh, are we you can doing make fun of mathematics now. Like this is the cuckold version of mathematics or something. Like whether it's cuck squared or not. Look at his face here. What's the square root of Drexel plowing Ricada's wife? <laughs> Let's solve for X. Wait, do you think that she's making him wear lingerie? It's sorry, lingerie. It's like sort of like a humiliation thing. While of course it is. Plowed by a real man. Yes. voyeurist all you want I, I don't care i'm not a voyeurist i don't give a shit about right. voyeurs cucks have a specific relationship to the object imagine folks this was a segment that we had on our show this is like the scholar and now the scholarly <laughs> discussion upon cuckoldry cue the jordan b peterson music do 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 with all these four whole seasons the cuckoldry and voyeurism ricata the cuckold drags the bull like what are we doing here we need like the venn diagram chart of cuckoldry Cock, like yeah. voyeur looking hot wife sweater wife, black what's going on you know like what is like guys stop anyway all right have a relationship of like trust and care and support or a boyfriend a husband a wife a girlfriend whatever it is and then they say i will watch the other thing do something to this person derive pleasure from it i love how he has to get this straight yeah it's it matters a lot to him it's not that he is one though guys it's not that he has a personal Ooh. investment in it it's just excuse me sir this isn't factually accurate. You are maligning the cuckold community with your misrepresentation of their deeds. I need you to strike that, reverse it, please. Like, Ashton, let's say you're a layman, a normal guy, normie, right? You find this show. Read the top middle of that screen for me. The account? No, 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 right here, right here. Ricada Law. So, so you're law explaining the cuckoldry. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome to law explaining the cuckoldry. Like, oh, With me, shows. your expert in cuckoldry, Nick Ricata. Have no attachment, none at all, to their to the object. Right? The object is just a thing. Now, voyeurs. I'm so glad can that we have cuckoldry law here now. I know, right? We need to explain the definitions and the terms so we can really figure it out. I was, I was. The finer you know? points of letting your wife get fucked. <laughs> From watching someone else do anything on earth literally uh, like they can voyeurs can derive pleasure from watching people eat food or 
What? Is it good that you know this? You know, like, we, is it why good is that this, you know this? Why is this being told to me? On a what screen? is going on? No, sire, we can't make fun of him. He's a god. I'm sorry, sire. I'm sorry for making fun of cockology. It is a serious discipline, I know. A serious educational discipline within academia. One of the pillars of modern thought, cockology. I'm so sorry, cockate. I mean, ricate, sir. Oh, is he trying to throw a jab at Josh? I don't know, Because man. Josh watches just the Josh the lives rent beauty? free in his mind forever. I don't so, know. Yeah, he's watching, is that what it is? Someone in chat sex, was, whatever, someone in chat whatever it is. That. But they have no relationship to the object. That's the difference between a voyeur and a cuck. This, right. so, this clip is way too long. Um, I'm going to disagree on that one. It's fine. Uh, like I, I know cuck has been colloquialized, and I, I don't have any problem with that, but... Um, allow me to huff my own thoughts for a moment, please. Yes, I know cuck has been colloquialized to mean many different things, but in fact you'll find the true definition of cuckold is this. Oh, yes. A Monty tickle my balls in the Baldo device. <laughs> Bring me more whiskey! <laughs> like, what the fuck are we talking about here? Those are literally different things, though. Like, voyeurism is a specific... Oh! It's zesty! Oh. He's repeating it again! Fetish, where people want to watch people that they have... That they may have no... In <laughs> they may have interest in, but they may have no interest in. That's what they want hey, to yeah. do. Yeah! No, people are right. This is like explaining the different types of pedophile. It's like when a pedophile explains why they're a febophile instead of a pedophile. Oh, no, my dear sir. You see, a febophilia is so much different. You see, I'm in fact actually a voyeur. It is more sophisticated. It's the thinking man's fetish, you see. Only a really intelligent man could get off on his wife being fucked by black men. Strike that. Um, okay. Fuck. You cucks need to have an interest in the object. Did I rewind it? To make it uh, sexually loop max. He just keep loop like max. Like, oh, loop sure max. Loop max is okay. So there is that clip. Now this is the really crazy clip. Oops, sorry. Let's Get ready for this clip. These poor bastards. Wait. This is the crazy clip. This is the crazy clip. Okay. People are like, oh, 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 are you going to go to a gay bar? Hey, <laughs> Hold on, get ready for his answer to this. Hey, hey, uh, <laughs> before, I'm going to make a visual observation. If we ever had a guest on the show and they had a 3D spinning rat, I'd be like, listen, <laughs> it's, this interview's over, right? Bring it back. Let's, let's bring it back. I would not let that on the show. People are like, oh, 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 are you going to go to a gay bar? And do an underwear party again like last year. You said this. Paul, hit play. If you fucking Negroes would understand. Whoa! Just continue. Holy shit! Just continue. How much I want to go to a gay bar and do an underwear party, I would 100% do it. But let me tell let's you. Let's rewind it and let let's just let these twenty seconds just Ash, sink in. I get like I'm like dying inside. No, excuse, please, please, sire, might we just crack one jest at you wanting to Chat. go to the gay bar and wear underwear at the gay men's underwear party at the gay bar, sire? Please, sire, it's so funny, I'm my liege. Please, sire, let's make. No, I'm a god king at the ball. Oh, okay, sire. We'll so, sweep up you going to the gay bar and underwear party, sire. But he sire. was nice to we me. We can't make fun of that. But he was nice my to liege. me. I'm so sorry, my liege. How could we have done this? Who could? How gosh, could we gosh. have cracked and jested this? One time, five years ago, he was nice to me. So therefore, forever, we owe you the pledge <laughs> of fealty forever, Lord Ricata. Lord Ricata, you've made us. You make the crops grow, sire. The sun comes from your asshole, sire. Please, our liege, we beg your grace just to but chuckle at you a little. 
forgive us. Like, listen to this shit. Okay. You're like, oh, oh, oh. Are you going to go to a gay bar and do an underwear party again like last year? If you fucking Negroes would understand how much I want to go to a gay bar and do an underwear party, I would 100% do it. But let me tell Pause. you the truth. The gay so not only has he admitted to going to the gay bar last year, <laughs> he's also admitted to going to the gay bar for the underwear party where all the gay men dress only in underwear and he's there in underwear. Mangerie. Mangerie, lingerie for men with other gay men at the gay bar. And he wants to do it so bad. But the only thing that's stopping him is that the gay bar went out of business. Let him cook. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you laugh at Lord Rikita? He's only going to the gay bar in his underwear with other gay men. This man who's also put a bottle up his ass. He's 100% heterosexual. There's no degeneracy to see here. I don't think I want to let him cook, but I will. Okay. Okay. A bar no longer does underwear parties. So I can't. Wait, the gay bar no longer does. It hasn't been closed down. It's just they don't do it anymore. You know, for the gay bar to discontinue something, <laughs> you know it had to be depraved. <laughs> there was fucking poop stains all over the floor. Oh, the hand fucking jobs Santora everywhere. mixture everywhere. It was too gay for the gay bar, but not gay enough for Rakeda at law. Oh. Small town Minnesota family lawyer, father of five. Wasn't gay enough for him. But don't you dare laugh! Heresy against the Lord King Riketa! <laughs> for he has blessed us! He is what allows the crops to grow! He is what makes the cows fattened! He has fattened the calf and slayed it! He has brought shoes upon thy feet! Someone said probably had had their dicks out. Yeah, I'm assuming. We owe him everything. Oh. He damn. makes the sun Matt, rise you... and set upon his command. <laughs> Been to an underwear party? No. This guy back. Hey, no. No, I oh. haven't been to an underwear By the way, party. You fucking By psychopath. Way, Matt's been ignoring this. He's like, if I just look down and clean my gun. Maybe he'll. Watch. Let me tell you the truth. The gay bar no longer watch does underwear Matt parties, here. Watch so Matt I can't. Ashton. I can't do them. Matt, have you ever been to an underwear party? No. I. He's like not even like jokingly. He's like, dude. No. Listen, bud. Her party. I don't even know what the fuck that constitutes. <laughs> I think the rat, greedy rat guy. <laughs> He's speaking the most sense. He's like. What the fuck are you? Are you fucking gay? This guy's kind of like Josh Moon at home. Yeah. <laughs> the 3D rat guy is like, listen, you fucking dummy. All it constitutes is that everyone in attendance has to be in their underwear. Is that what you do whenever you get old and bored of regular sex? No, <laughs> I did this in college. It was literally my... So he's been a degenerate Bullshit. for 20 years. Bullshit. L listen to his story, though. It gets worse. No, but Ashton... He said last year, he realizes they're like, this is fucked. And he goes, no, it's college. He's like shifting the goalposts. But how do you know they, they just recently stopped doing it? Form room was the underwear room because I was a cheerleader. So he was Matt's a male face. cheerleader. He's fucking like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, imagine, like, if you're, imagine you're just like with your buddy of years. You know, like you've known this guy for years or like at least you've been around him for years. You're drinking beers and then he starts talking to you about how he goes to the gay bar and you're like, what? And he's like, yeah, I go to the gay bar for the underwear parties. You're like, well, what exactly constitutes an underwear party? And he goes, oh, it's where everybody's in their underwear only. And you're like, what the fuck? That's fucked. And he goes, yeah, yeah, but in college, I was also a male cheerleader. But he's definitely straight. 
Matt's Matt's mad. Matt's actually like pissed. how fucking embarrassing. You're around your other friends who don't know the guy, <laughs> and he starts saying this. They're like, "You invited this fag here? Like what? You invited this homo here? What's going on?" Huh? Yep. Oh wait! All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Ivan goes, "Hmm, listen." Yeah, I was. The I was the cheerleader. This, this all. This all. This all adds up. This all. This My all, wife this and I were. Like, yeah. Okay. It makes you know, sense. It, adds up, it all right? makes sense now. We were cheerleading captains the in college captain. back in '04, and uh, my room was. Whoa! He immediately pulls the gun and points it at Ricada's head. I mean, it's a valid response. Get away from me, you queer! <laughs> Like, get away from me now! What the fuck? Like, stay back. Like, is this guy gonna- Stay the fuck back! Is this guy gonna try and grab my asshole or what? <laughs> He's telling me he was a fucking cheerleader captain who goes to gay clubs. But, sir, you, you can't make fun of him online. He's a king, he was nice to you once. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Aim, aim, aim! And he does aim. this on the regular. Aim! Was the uh, was the hangout room, and we had a rule: if you were in my room, no matter. Wait. See, this is what I was saying. It's not the college story. He did the gay bar thing last year, yeah. and now he's pivoting it, saying it's in college because they're mad at him, obviously. But now it's not the I gay bar. He... Now it's his room. <laughs> my room was the gay underwear room with the other male cheerleaders. And so the rule was with all the male cheerleaders that they all had to be in their underwear in Ricada's room. Uh, Isn't that kind of wild? Yeah, that's insane. This is a thing that you're telling to other people. Oh, I'm not just like about. somebody like real private, like a close confidant. Man, I went through a phase in college. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was confused and I was with all the male cheerleaders. Like, that's bad enough. But he's like proudly proclaiming, hear ye, hear ye, I was a male cheerleader in underwear parties with the other male cheerleaders, hear ye, hear ye. I forced other men to take off their clothes in my room, hear ye, hear ye. Like what? <laughs> I proudly proclaim. Who you were. You had to strip down to your underwear. That was the whole I rule. I don't care who you were. This guy stole the gun. And the only people we invited over were cheerleaders. Other male cheerleaders. This is not a bad rule, guys. Uh, Understand what you're doing with life. Uh, are you a no. real polygamous person? No, <laughs> I'm not. There's fucking Rod just felt him. Are you a weird polygamist person or what? <laughs> read the room, Ricadus. You know, like, Nobody read... wants to hear your tales of faggotry and, and cuckoldry. And Buddy's like literally like cocking the gun back, uncocking, like turning the safety off. I'm not a polygamist no. person. No. Are you one it of them? Sounds, um... sounds like, it sounds like one of them swing set people. Yeah, are you one of them swing no, this, this is actually well before we were married. We just, had, we just had. We just had this. the question, Ivan. We, di we didn't. Uh, to be <laughs> They're giving him the hard press oh, now. He's, he's dodging the question, Ivan. Very clear. Neither I nor we didn't fuck a bunch of cheerleaders. What? Like we just. Wait. So what was the point? You know what I mean? Saying you didn't even fuck the cheerleaders, the female cheerleaders. I'm gonna assume. Yeah. I don't know. Like. <laughs> this story is nuts. What is going on? Had, had this, uh, it was just a yeah, fun. And then Ricada has a sex swing, swing in the garage. He did brag about that oh already. Oh my god. Me thing. Like you come in, everybody's uh -huh. in there and everybody's we're fine. We're just, we're just being gay. I would take note that he dodged. Dude, Ivan just go, ha, ah, we're being all gay. Like, Ivan just just Ha, uh -huh. it's, it's so funny. We're all being gay. If you're listening to this audio only, by the way, if you're at work or something, there is Ivan's picture is a 3D low poly rat spinning in like various movements.
to the direction. <laughs> he did dodge. No, no, the no I'm, I'm I'm not dodging the question. I'm telling you, this is this is in 2004. We had this fun fucking rule. Yeah, where, in 2004, like, it was fun to be a swing set. Whatever. We weren't yeah, a swing set. Yeah. No. We, then why did you we, continue being a swing set? We didn't have sex with other people. I'm telling you right now, very openly and candidly, we did not do that. That was the funny part so of it. Was, it was that? literally a joke. So what is funny? <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if like I touched your dick? And then that like, wouldn't it be funny though if it got hard? And then it'd be like super hilarious if I yeah. put it in my mouth. We could suck each other off. And we, and then it'd be like jokes. so funny, man. Oh, man. Like, unless you actually want to do that. I mean, like, it's kind of jokes, though, right? Come on, bro! My cock Ricada has followed the, the channel. <laughs> cock Ricada, <laughs> Big time <laughs> follower. And then... <laughs> it's just a joke we're all in our underwear. It's a joke. <laughs> 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 just you just laughed. You just Oh, my God. Ass. Do you know this guy reminds me of this Matt guy? A browner version of Big Tech with hair. Yeah. Doesn't he? Kind of. kind of joke. Our kind of joke is a gun trigger. It's <laughs> <laughs> big tech, big tech. Look at that, big tech! The same. <laughs> Ivan. But mulatto. Do you wear underwear? It's Under a question pack. to ask other men. Hey, man. Oh, man. Do you wear underwear? Can I smell them, bro? Buddy, I'm kind of losing my mind. Yeah. No, he's a rat. Yeah, Matt, you, Matt, I'm literally, you, I've literally been spinning completely naked on your stream this whole Matt, time. Matt, do you wear underwear? I wear just boxers. You guys still wear? Okay, no, it's cool. Is he getting bricked up about that? Wait, wait, wait. Because potato is like against boxers. What? Yeah, it was like a, like a while ago. But he's like, he wasn't it him who was talking about boxers? We're like not good or some shit for like holding your balls or something what i wear boxer briefs you know like the boxers but they're like tight um but boxers are fine whatever what the fuck is going on i do i listen we're in fucking upside down world right now okay what i haven't worn underwear in years Okay. Well, like, what about at the underwear party, though, from last year? So now it's the naked, it's the bottomless party. So now he was naked yeah. with the game at the bottomless party. And the dicks are like, like this? That's... <laughs> Somebody Hello, wrote in chat. Hello, darkness, Bro. my old friend. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. My tea's gone cold, I'm wondering why. I put the baldo on it all. Oh, the bottle up my ass makes me cry. <laughs> and Lady Racket's getting fucked. And even if Drexel's the bull, I cry. Anyway. You know, dude. It's Matt, just the picture Matt's on my leave. wall. Lady Racket's painted it. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I I was just asking like I don't care I'm not judging are you not circumcised what no I am then isn't that uncomfortable no it's great oh actually underwear is bullshit do I you not it. have zippers that it there's a fucking thing that We're prevents you the, the only time so like there's been there's been like two times I've ever wore jeans without underwear and it, like the what tip of my you, buy? you go to Walmart and buy Wranglers? <laughs> no, what he's saying is your uncircumcised dickhead is rubbing up against a fucking zipper like this. That's what he's saying. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this sentence out loud. Why is this the topic of conversation on law splaining the interwebs? Ricada law? Law? Oh, uh, McFly? McFly? Ricada, is it about law or is it about like cuckoldry and baldos and shit? Like, what's going on on this program? We're discussing like oh. men going commando and Nick's like in the chat. mechanics of their penis there. Nick's in chat. Nick saying in chat that he has a micro penis so it never comes anywhere near the zipper. <sighs> We're sorry, sire. <laughs> we'll never make fun of you again, King. <laughs> By water. It's just fucking retarded. I don't know why. It's oh. so out of pocket, the things that they're saying. 
<laughs> these people also are making fun of you. Are we out it. of pocket? Like, for real? Well, these guys are out of pocket, too. <laughs> Everybody's out of pocket unless they put on the ball, though. <laughs> Next time on Cuckold Court. <laughs> Jeremy's in a polycule situation. His lover won't put out and has sex with the other men. Is Jeremy entitled to financial compensation? Find out next time on the Cuckold Court. Okay. <laughs> you just dox your jeans forever. I mean, the two of my dicks always find the razor. The, 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 uh, All the, of my uh, jeans have a flap. <laughs> Do you know it's it's just, it's the funniest fucking thing for me because people like get get like silly about stuff. It's like guys, silly. when we were You know, when you're talking about the gay bar, like <laughs> silly shouldn't really be part of it. Isn't it so silly? Oh We're sorry, sire. Oh my god. You have such beautiful clothes on, sire. <laughs> They're so wonderful. <laughs> we're in college. We're cheerleaders, we're like goofy and shitty like we we just had this silly thing. This where silly thing come with the other male oh, cheerleaders. Like, oh, sorry, on. I was just checking the screen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look at Matt's face. I should look at Matt's face here. Matt's like, are we still fucking talking about this? I'm over. He's like, oh shit, you got to be in your underwear here. Why? Because I wanted to see cheerleaders in bras. That's funny. Like that was great. That's that, that's funny. not the funny part. But like, it's not. That it's not should be the sexual part. You know what I mean? Chicks and bras. I wanted to like... see chicks and bras because it was hot, not because it was funny. <laughs> exactly. There's something twisted about all this. You know, he's retarded. Is <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Wait, is that not funny? Do you guys not want to see cheerleaders in bras and panties? No, I don't. That's not fat. Oh, oh man. man, guys, the. the uh... How do we unpack this? I don't understand. You know, guys, I think we all need a palate cleanser for one second. Right. Send subs. Please. Send lots of Send subs. Send a fucking sub, somebody. I don't get paid go. enough. This is crazy. I <laughs> sit here and, like, dissect Ricada's insanity, like... Oh, Fuck. Thank you, Warski. Yeah, no problem. It was the reindeer dance. Holy shit. All right, you ready? Oh, but funny is the right word. <laughs> Nick's like... It's like, consensual. Fun, fun, funny is whenever you say... No one no one banned you for a week. What the fuck are you talking about, Papa? They like a racial slur and your He's friends go... Silly. <laughs> that's an out of, 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 out of place comment to say. Wait, do you want to see black people in bras and thongs? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna stop watching. I would Levels rather see. Like, I'm fucking like this is so gay. Like twenty, like, well, at the time, especially like twenty-three year old black people can't be twenty-three years old. No, they've never been twenty-three <laughs> in their life. They get killed by the police before that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, George Floyd was the fucking. The fucking oh, 22, buddy. you bastard. 2018 joke. Hi. <laughs> Just joking. That's the funniest thing he's actually said. It, it is, yeah. It actually is. <laughs> wait, is this a, like you got like hard wait, to is laugh this a real thing? Am after I talking about cocks and lingerie for half an hour. I the weirdo because when I was yes, no, yes, right. well, no, yes, but no. proceed. Yeah, I'm twenty. This is when I'm literally 23, right? That's like, so I'm in nuts. college. You should have settled down already by then. Yeah. Settled down. Like, I was, I was engaged. Ricky you should have already found the one. For a second, I thought he was I was engaged. <clears throat> I, I swear, that's what I heard for a second. For he, a he wanted to say that he was gay. But... Yeah. I'm in gay. Did I mean? And then you shouldn't be messing around with other women. Ivan, are you married? <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> Wait, so you didn't find the one. How old are you? He's 40? Engaged. He's engaged. I'm 13. Nigga, you look 30. 
I do. <laughs> but you're fucking. You're a sitting spoon. rat. You literally look. Th- you look like you're in prison trying to get out of it. <laughs> yeah, he's engaged. He has found the one. He has. He has, what's his name? But he's his name Tyrone or Malik. He's not a <laughs> Southern Jane Baptist like me, so, and so his his engagement. Yeah. Oh, look, he's actually he's probably gay, right? With a black guy. It lasts forever. Yeah. No, here's the thing. This is 20 years ago. Uh, yeah, but you do this now too. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not like it was 20 years ago. I swear. You went last year to the fucking gay pant. The, well, party. the gay bar, man. It's the gay. He bar. sucks fucking. He's sucking cock every day. I was. I'm. I'm like 22, 23 with this goofy thing where, like, yeah, you come to the. Wait, so you were engaged, and then you're trying to just look at cheerleaders' boobs. Fountain. No, it's have the you whole ever seen thing. stand up before? It's like I enjoy it's comedy. <laughs> it was like a joke for It's just a joke. It's just funny. It's just a joke. It's just funny. Literally was. It was literally funny. Like I, I, I will say I man. and you chat, you can call me or whatever the fuck you want, but like I legitimately am grossed out by the bodies of people that aren't my significant other. I do not want to see that shit. Bro. What is wrong what I, with what, what is wrong with Rakeda? What a king! He's look like, at Rakeda, the creepy, he, like fucking like, swinger look, that he is. I, I, he, he's like saying, like, look, I can understand that someone's like an attractive person, but the thought of being with that person makes me uncomfortable. I'd rather be with him. Nick's like, what? How? Yeah, seventy-six swords. Right, Rakeda's already committed the adultery in his heart. Exactly, it's like over. Like, look, I know it's a you're powerful engaged. thing. And it's I a funny joke. Watching, and I will give you all the credit you need for this. S- stop it. <laughs> I am not even memeing, dude. Rakeda, you're drunk and you're fucking a degen. He's a drunk like, creep. He's a creep, yeah. I am. I, I think that humans are fucking ugly. <laughs> no. I think humans are fucking great. This is getting fucking crazier than I fucking can expect. I, think I can ugly. tolerate exactly one woman. Yeah. Well, that, you heard <laughs> me that's... laughing from down. To, you know, you yeah, were like yeah, laughing. Yeah. You're like, "What the fuck's going on?" Yeah. And and, and, and you're like, "The I go, it's Rakeda." He's like, "The Rakeda segment." I literally and said I was... that. I'm like, Rakeda's segment's funny." It's enough. You know, how many men can you tolerate? You have two hands, one mouth, two nostrils, yeah. two yeah, ears, at least seven, 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 at least ten. Yeah. So, so Matt, you unironically are like, "No, if I see someone who is not my." lady naked i'm i'm repulsed yeah well we got like for more than one reason because like what wait what's the one reason what's the more than one reason well so like the one reason is that like your significant other should be more than enough for you right yeah stop that Uh, but what wait okay you're gonna say you're not a swinger you're not a cock you're not polyamorous you're not polygamous in any way but you need to stop thinking that your wife should be more than enough for you. Just be open about your cuckold life. Just be open about it, Ricardo. I know yeah. you gave Jack Murphy a lot of shit for it. You're going to have to eat a big plate of shit. But just come out and accept that you're a cuck. Just, it's okay, bro. I mean, it's not. But it's better than, like, living this lie that he's living. By the way, imagine being his He's child. a religious man. Imagine being his, ki- his kid. What, like, what do you do when your your dad's doing this? Well, it's a shameful thing. Imagine his grandchildren watch this. Oh man! When he's an old man. But I should be nice to him. Yeah. Because five years ago he said one thing. He said that you weren't gonna go to jail. That hey, was really yep. nice of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, in addition to that, is that women are disgusting malformed flesh creatures <laughs> and they're all fucking lopsided they're and, evil and they are look you like- trying to say that like slobber pockets are gross what what they're what is that what he calls vaginas slobber pockets can we execute Rick? <laughs> 
Like, surely there's some way. It's a joke. It's a joke. There's some way legally, right, in the state of Minnesota. Legally. Legally. We want le- legally legally in the state of Minnesota, he could get the death penalty for saying that, right? Chris Cola has gifted two subs. We're only 13, 13 away, away from Thank the you, Chris goal. Cola. What is it called? Slobber pockets? Slobber pocket. Fuck. Not symmetrical. <laughs> they are. They, they never look. are. Have you met a chicken taco that is symmetrical? What? Chicken taco is another thing for Why vagina? Why don't you just call it a vagina or a pussy? pussy. What's wrong with you? It's so, or like, if you want to like, be chi- uncouth. These cunts. weird like child games and like for a 45 year old man. It's just creepy, man. This is fucking insane. Like, a fucking 14-year-old called it that. It's still creepy, man. Yeah. Like, this is fucking gross. No. <laughs> no, you haven't. But have you eaten one? <laughs> Look, you're half Mexican. I know you've definitely eaten a chicken taco. Uh, pollo de taco at some point in your life. But look. So you, you shouldn't be out there looking at a... I'm fucking... A, it's also just weak, and I think it's a. Uh, I think it's uh, low moral hate, character. I hate the idea that like people think that they can sell you on anything if they put boobs next to it. No, I agree like, with that. That's yeah, stupid. and so I've just like. I... Do you? <laughs> Do you agree with that? Like, but I don't Kane believe is a you. brained mung. Yeah, right? I don't believe that at all. It's a mung. I think my brain has just like completely pushed in the opposite direction where I'm like, oh, you're trying to fucking use sex appeal on me? Die. <laughs> like It's uh, like that it's like that fucking Latino uh, rap we saw today, right? Yeah. The girls like her tits are out. I'm like, am I supposed to be sold on this now? Like like I, I, I let me let me do yeah, this. Like, fucking like yeah. Uh people misunderstand this. Guys, I went to school I went to college at a place that I don't was yeah, Sorry. you know what? At this point, I don't believe Ricardo went to college. I, maybe he went to DeVry. <laughs> sure, I believe Ricardo got his law degree is from DeVry. Ironically, that's the commercial they show in between those shows. Those yeah. law shows. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's called Southwest State University. What? But then they had to what? change it to Southwest Didn't he just Minnesota go to State. Good diploma Mill? <laughs> University because there's an actual South State University that's popular. <laughs> it's not in Minnesota. It's the Southwest Minnesota State University in Marshall, Minnesota. What? Here's what I gotta say. Harvard, it was um, not. Wait, there's really about three on. total hot women on campus. So the wait, rest of them look like so sticks of on. butter. So that are... you did this whole like elaborate pantsless male cheerleader routine. To look at like the all the unattractive women on yeah. campus, there were only three attractive women on campus. Like this whole cope, it's just not adding up. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say at all. Been in a microwave. <laughs> what? The rest of them look like sticks of butter that have been in a microwave. <laughs> look at you. You're a deformed-looking fuck. <laughs> Oh, and if you so think I'm re- joking, there's re- no, I'm I'm serious. Pop, pop, there are right. Ah! Wait, is that, is that shitty on his wife? So he's saying that his wife was one of the people only wearing underwear. Yeah. He was engaged to at the time, so he's in a room in only his underwear with his wife and other men and other men and, and wa- women. All in their underwear. And it's not definitely a not a swinger thing or a cock thing in any way. Oh, whoops, sorry. It was muted. Sorry, guys. I had to mute it. I had to, though. Sorry. Well, my wife was one of the Don't worry, guys. It wasn't in the. It wasn't that only long. three uh, people in the whole I'm track not, county. Dude, I'm not, I'm not joshing you. This, this girl. <laughs> Josh? Rent free. This girl, when I met her, she looks, she looks way better now. What? Your 50 year old wife is he dunking on his wife? He's like, Listen, when I met my wife, she was an ugly, disgusting pig. That's why I got with her because I have low standards. She's really improved over time. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Wait, you're telling me that your wife at 23 
looked worse than she does at 49. That's what he said. But when I met her, she's just like 110 pound, blonde, curly haired thing. That's You're cute. Sitting there telling me to stop and yet look at you. No, I. This guy's crushing her. Whoa. Right he looks like the Everybody, Chad Yass at this point. like we brought A Log to like ruin his fucking show. Yeah. We paid Matt, Nick. He knows I'm a simp for my wife. You know what? You know what color your wife's eyes are? You fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. They're like this weird pale gray. She kind of hates them. You mean you don't, don't like, spend you don't spend all your time looking at Aryan. looking at underwear cheerleader uh, eyes instead? <laughs> No, so here's, that's the funny thing. I'm trying to get this. He's I'm trying to get this across. Felt. Nick, you're getting felted. Like, just shut up and move on. Just go, you know what, guys? They don't even want to talk about it. They're just getting increasingly more nasty to him because he won't like. They, they, he's like, they, they're being forced to bow down to him, and because that's like where Kate's like, "No, you shall kneel before me." Yeah. The chanceless party at the gay bar is good. Yeah. And they're like, "No, it's fucking sick and disgusting." And he's like, "Why won't you just kneel to me?" Like it's just retarded. You're watching your wife blow Tyrone, and you want us to like this? I'm sorry. No. Please. Most of the cheerleaders on our cheerleading squad were not hot. So like the underwear thing. But you like was, butter. Was a me no, I hate fat. I hate fat women. I don't just dislike fat women or disregard them. I actively hate them. I want them. Wait, to so you're telling me if a fat woman is in her underwear, you you don't want to look at that? No, I want that her to literally joke? put. I want her she to even put. Even as a joke, I, yeah, he's mean, coming in with the little knife. I mean, it goes even as a joke. <laughs> The non-trigger disciplined gun in her mouth. And kill her. Someone in chat who just like, who just showed up who, who's saying, "Dude, what is this?" I know, I know, bud. Herself, <laughs> I do. I no, Matt. You don't. Why, this per comment. chance, would you have started this joke? Because you said you wanted were, to see them. There were about four hot cheerleaders, and now the numbers the, the number up. keeps changing. Yeah. The number that seems in he's. Mercedes just can't hold it together. No, he's you falling apart. There were three hot women on campus, but there were four hot cheerleaders. Because what? You know that's how math works. I'm not Asian. I don't know how to explain this. You you're, you're shut lying. up! Then you're just shut up! Right. He's trying to look cool in his <laughs> fucking literally mid forties, you... bragging about college. Like, get a grip, bro. Get a fucking grip. Their names. This is some lawyer math going on. Here. Kristen, Dana, Melissa, Kayla, they're all hot. He remembers their names. What's his wife's name? Not that. So there was. F okay. But no, he Lady still remembers their names? Of course I do. <laughs> he brings mm. it up. Lady Raggins was hot. She was actually one of the hottest women on campus. One of the other girls who's hot was a dancer. She wasn't a cheerleader. Lady Raggett's before we were dating tried oh, Kayla, Kayla. to help me like uh give like give her like uh like a flower thing on this specific day. And she's like, No, I only like black guys. So I'm like, Oh, that's cool. Maybe hey. not maybe oh, don't tell hold. that part. Hang, hang on, 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 hang on. I to help me like uh, give like give her like a uh, like a flower thing on this specific day, and she's like, "No, I only like black guys." So I'm like, Why would you tell everybody that you got cocked by a black guy? Like, even Matt's like, "You're telling us this, you know we're live." You know that everybody can see this, right? Ivan's but probably. we can't make fun of this, right? No, my liege. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir, for dare, dare crossing you, my liege. Oh, we're so sorry for cracking jokes at your expense. Oh, we're, we're spreading falsehoods about you, my lord, by playing what you're saying and, and laughing at it. We're so sorry. Like, you know? Like, what does he want? Like, everybody has to just accept this. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. And then everyone's like, his, his, his guests are like, this is fucked. He goes, no, it's not. Here's why. And then he proceeds to add on to the fucked upness We're of it. We're slandering him with his own recorded words. This is bad. Like, oh, that's cool. 
It's funny. But no, um, Matt, this, uh, this guy the, the wants whole, to be out of there. Yeah. yeah. Like, underwear in the room thing was a joke for the most part. I feel because, like it's a, for the most it part. It was a joke for the most part. Can you just explain what actually happened? What did, was the other part? Did any of this happen, or is this you just trying to look cool in your mid 40s to a bunch no, of other guys? Ash, what I think happened was he mentioned about heading to the gay bar in his man lingerie yeah. watching his wife get with other men and then when they were making fun of him he had to scramble for a story and then he lied but because he's so deep in the lies now he doesn't know what's happening yeah. and yeah that's what's happening it's been a very productive therapy session do you feel better? <laughs> it's been why, a very why would this be a therapy therapy you you guys, obviously I... is, man. Yeah. You're obviously mentally unwell and you're like getting out your repressed desires through this outlet. These guys are being forced into being your therapist for free. In a way, they're the most cocked ones there. <laughs> okay. I, would, I would tell literally everybody this story because... Why Wait. would you tell literally everyone this story? Why? Why are you so proud of this story? Huh. Why are we not allowed to make fun of this? Why is it evil and out of pocket to make fun of this? <laughs> like, I want to actually hear why. It's apparently because he was nice to Andy five years ago. <laughs> Like, five years is a lot of time. <laughs> a lifetime of fealty you shall owe me. <laughs> for I am law tomb. <clears throat> like, it's like the madness of Kakeda needs to come to an end here. This is funny to me. Someone said he's like Burt Kreischer. That's an insult to Burt Kreischer. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Whoa! Look at Nick's face. He's like, he has to be like, how could you make fun of me? Like, how is this not okay? Because it's fucked, Nick. There's no self awareness. <laughs> Nick's you, like shocked. Nick's shocked. You considering self harm? No. Sit <laughs> play. Just, just yeah. want to check up on you, man. Just check on your wellness. I can tell you about considering self harm was when I accepted a free haircut from a girl in my math study group <laughs> in college. And when I'm sitting there, she's getting. Stop telling us your stories. No one wants to hear your stories. No one signed up for this. Self harm, you say? Well, let in me tell class. you. I, back in math class twenty years ago, <laughs> some girl gave me a bad haircut. That's the story. <laughs> Your haircut. Her name was. Her name. Ginger. She was nice. This is in college algebra. We had a study group together, and she's like, "Oh, come." Ash, look at Matt here. Checked out. In Watch. college algebra, we had a study group Watch. together. And she's like, oh, come by sometime. I'll give you a haircut. I'm like, cool. Matt's on his second mind. Every Mom. one of his stories is so boring and belabored. It's just like, can we get to the point? Maybe? No? I go by. She's cut half of my hair. Half of it, Matt. And she goes, hey, uh, I kind of like you. Whoa. Like, really like you. And I was like, oh, God damn it. Oh, no. You have a razor at my neck right now, shaving my beard. And she goes, do you? This story did not happen. This is bullshit. No, man. Ashton, she was cutting my hair. I hope they just Wait. say to him, cool story, bro. She was cutting my hair. She's halfway through cutting my hair. Says, I like you. And now she's got a razor on my neck shaving my beard? Shut the fuck up! Are you just- oh, He's man. a pathological liar. Like, that's all he is. What a ruse. Well, uh, you think we want to go out sometime? Oh Matt, my god. Pop quiz, what do you do? 
This girl is stop fam. associating with females. No, no, no. I'm no, a, okay. I'm like, a actually, new like, stop problem it. solving. Problem no, Matt, solving. Matt, you are you're a humble man, and you have you're poor, right? What? So you can't afford a haircut. And then you go and like Ginger's like, hey, we're math buddies. Do you want to come to my uh my barber table? Oh my! I'll cut your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. So then you're in the situation. So what would I do? In the middle of this, in the middle of your free questions. haircut, she says, "Hey, yeah. you want to hang out sometime?" Like, I just start asking longer? questions. Oh, what would we do? Uh, do you She's know like, any good places for that? You know, like that's what I would do. Sit, we just sit around your room. Maybe like I'd kiss you or whatever on your neck. Oh, where would we do that? In your room. The, by, but where? Your dorm room. I'm homeless. On your couch. Yeah, I don't have that. You do, Matt. I've been there. <laughs> I'm in trouble now because you've been there. <laughs> what do you do with that? You know what I thought I would do? Because here's what I did. I said, I've been, by the way, he's, he's now he's like hanging. He's totally checked out. His, his legs are just swinging like this. If you saw his fucking webcam. I'm not into you at all. I risked the razor to Oh, you did throat. that. Yeah, I did. I did that. I don't believe any of this story. I said, oh, I'm yeah. not into you in that way at all. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I literally right. just know how to do algebra. Yeah, all right. All right, let's go. So Let me I get just... That load. All right. All right, and then we're going to watch their reaction to this. Then we'll watch Rakeda crying about us making fun of him. But at a certain point, it's like, bro, when you say shit like this, you act like this, not only are we going to make fun of you, but everybody's going to make fun of you, and that's what's been going on. All right, he's downloading. And that's just the way it is. But he was nice to me. It doesn't matter. All right. Wait a so, minute. Should I send you uh, actually their reaction oh, to this whole separate? thing? Oh, Okay. Yeah. And then we'll get into his clip about us and how evil we are. Cool. And so this is why Stan is fucking stupid. Um, this is, me and Ivan Rikita were on Rakita the other night, and we actually had. Huh? He just goes, Rakita is fucking stupid. And so this is why standing is fucking stupid. Um, this is, me and Ivan were on Rakita the other night, and we actually had a great conversation with him about standing and um, underwear parties. Yeah, and underwear parties. <laughs> <laughs> and carburetors carburetor yeah. the new shelby gt500 yeah. i like the part where you guys were like oh man we're hanging out with this really degenerate guy this is awkward and we oh this guy is saying you're a degen yeah shut it look at this guy he's otheist <laughs> i both like nick by the way and i went he's funny i i was i was yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. we were just bantering you're saying you like him, but then you're also going, wow, this is awkwardly degenerate. And I like you guys, and I hang out on your server, and it's awkwardly <laughs> degenerate to me. By the way, all these guys have guns. Yeah. They're all gun guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I like you guys. And you're awkwardly Let's not compared to degeneracy now. Um, I'm sure everyone does things that are, or whatever, uh, but... <laughs> Anyway, it's this tough. is terrible. The point of this is you that standing he wants is shit. To go off about Rikeda, but he's like, "All right, so let's go to Rikeda. He's upset with us. Let's oh, hear oh. him out here. He's fucking drunk as fuck." I don't really like those Kino Casino guys or King Casino, but I think you mean Kino Casino guys. The shit yeah. they say about you is rude and all fake. It's like that. It's all Channel fake. K Rock dude, keep all out, fake. Yeah. Pause. We hit play. This entire segment, all we've done is play Nick's own words and just make fun of it. Yeah. Now, you could try and say, well, they don't have hard 4K evidence that Drexel fucks Rikada's wife. But we have them admitting Drexel left his baldo at Rikada's house. Like, we have a lot of other things as well. And it all just starts to add up, right? There's a lot of circumstantial evidence to suggest that, you know, because Rikeda goes to Hedonism too. It's a swingers resort with black men. He just so happens to have a black friend who's really into BDSM and weird sex shit who just so happens to leave sex toys at his house. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we don't need to see shit to oh. smell shit. 
Do you understand? We have Arcadia's people in here saying that I edit AI voices into the Oh, clip. yeah, it's all fake, right? It's, it's all, all just <laughs> fake. Rikada knows it's not fake. Look at the face he's making. Yeah. It's the face of a felted man. A fucking alcoholic who he drinks himself to death to cope. This is a Let's sad. hear him out. People get to say whatever they want. Yeah, we do. Uh, their whole their whole thing, Kino Casino guys, uh, their whole thing is getting a reaction out of people. So wait a minute. Uh, not really. Our whole thing is getting a reaction out of people, and you're giving us the reaction? Yeah. Brilliant. Like, what, what brilliant fucking strategy? In his mind, it's all about us getting a reaction, being able to milk it for money and views and laughs. And here he is. Just handing it to us on a silver fucking platter. But we, but it's not for reaction. What, we're going to do about like 50 segments on you? You get no reaction and be like, God damn it! Foiled again! Know, it's, it's funny. No, it's just funny to watch. Um, I don't watch what they say. No, uh, not at all. Sense. So, but he knows what our whole thing is about, right? You know? He knows it's all about getting a reaction, but he's never watched. The you show. know, like okay. he would never. Oh, I would never stoop so low as to watch that program. Meanwhile, we know he reads his Kiwi Farms thread every day. Yeah. We know he's watching every Alyssa clip seething, and Alyssa clips this show. So we know he sits there. Yeah. And watches every Alyssa clip of ours on two times speed. That's what he does. Yeah. Because he can't help himself. <laughs> He's obsessed with it. He's obsessed with anybody saying anything negative about him online. Well, the rules of the internet. Now it's going to wreck. If you are just, were just to ignore it, people would stop. If you were to ignore it and stop talking about this weird degenerate shit, it would stop. If you yeah. were to stop drinking, it would stop. There's the three step process. Ignore people being mean. Step two, stop <laughs> drinking. Yeah. Step three, stop crying about people being mean online. There you go. I fixed your career. There you go. But you can't follow that simple three-step process to stop the Kino Casino A-logging you. Instead, it's, oh, the guilt trip. Oh, Worski, I was nice to you. Give me a break. Stuff on occasion. I haven't seen anything in a while. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um, whatever. What I know is that uh, he's seething. Some of the shit that Andy has said is way out of pocket what for is someone he? who is super duper nice to him. So he was, he was so nice like to you. Retard. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then he oh, goes, like, "While you're being a retard." Oh, wait, wait, look, a man was a retarded moment. We've we acknowledged that. Since then, what have I done? My life changed it completely well, and by the way uh, and by the way even more so now nick i have quit alcohol nicotine weed i'm fully clean fucking straight edge right now and very productive shows doing really well <laughs> people are enjoying what even if he did do stuff that was but, super duper nice for you it's not that yeah. you're like in it, he's not entitled to your servitude to him for all eternity like and by the way let's say i did drink one day on the show in the like like uh, tomorrow i get fucking super hammered and i fuck up right i do something stupid right it doesn't like matter because you do that every day of your fucking life that's what you are you're a joke you're a joke and by the way what is the super nice thing he did for me he aim just all he, aim did, aim all happened, he did all he did was retarded. say that you weren't going to jail when though aim aim happened he did do a stream where he did a legal analysis where he shit all over you guys and then he said well the stand your ground laws uh yeah. make it so that they won't go to jail and that, that, that's what he that said that was when two years after that happened yeah And, um, you know, uh, he can make up fictions or whatever. Or I'm, not, I'm what, watching what, you. What is the fiction? Yeah, what is the fiction? What is the fiction? Because even if we discount that Drexel is fucking your wife yeah, sure, or whatever, sure. we'll, we'll, we'll say that that doesn't happen, even though we're pretty sure it happens. You're still an alcoholic. 
you're still talking about the baldo and how you use it. Yeah. You put a bottle up your ass. You're crying about and talking about underwear parties, going to gay bars in your underwear, wearing lingerie as a man. And it's like, again, I, I've repeated it over and over again, but I just want to hammer it home again. Oh, Sire, we're so sorry, Sire, for making fun of you. How could we do that? You were nice to Andy at one time years ago. Oh, ho, ho. now we're so sorry for reporting on what you're doing. <laughs> like, get a grip, man. This is the fucking internet. This is the real, this is the world, bro. Like, get a grip. It's not no, that serious. That. Like, oh my God, Josh makes fun of you. Kiwi Farms makes fun of you. Kino Casino makes fun of you. You live in a mansion. Yeah. You're a millionaire. Yeah. Stop crying. You fucking are living an incredible life beyond most people's dreams. But it's just not perfect enough because everybody needs to be washing his balls 24 hours, seven days a week, forever. Yeah. And if there's ever any criticism of his behavior, even if it's actually for his own good, it's evil because I was nice to you. So therefore I am your king. Like, it's deranged. It'll be... That's on him. And that's a testament to his character and no one else's. Okay. I've never been negative towards him at all. So, um, so I don't wants... give a fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so, so anytime someone's been nice to me, but then turns into a fucking retarded D-Gen sick fucking... I can't make fun of them ever again? Right, Ashton? No, apparently not. You owe them an eternal debt. Forever. Yeah. Because you one time went... He shouldn't went to jail. But like, I'm not like, I'm not swat. We're not swatting Rakeda. We're not planning gay ops against him. We're not going to like his children's school and like posting pictures of him fucking dressed up in like lingerie and shit or, or, or like women's clothes. Like we're not doing anything fucked up. We're just playing his clips going, this is fucked up. This is degenerate. This is hypocritical. This is inconsistent. Alyssa literally just takes his clip post it the we go that's all she does hey, Alyssa. that's all she does but he fucking sees that her at well as well there's nothing crazy going on here there's no sort of evil going on here by the way if i were his friend let's say me and him were friends and we barely even cover the guy because he's fucking boring yeah we fuck i actually have like i have a folder full but here's the thing say i was his friend ashton you know what i would do ash what DM him and go, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're embarrassing yourself. Stop it. Well, he'd be like, why do you care so much? And then I would be like, all right, well, but you know who said this to uh, Same person, same type of idea, situation. Dick Masterson. Andy, I was nice. Why are you being a dick? Because you're defending the movie Cuties and being a pedophile. But it's all like this weird cartel, right? Where yeah. it's like... Well, I did you a favor once, so you owe me a million favors, and yeah. you'll do what I want. And we're all going to protect each other in this gay fucking hug box together. Yeah. And nobody's ever going to make fun of anybody because we're all on the same team. And it's like, no, we're really not on the same team. You do nothing for us. And even if you did, it doesn't mean that we owe you like this pledge of undying loyalty for a million years. Yeah. It's fucking retarded. Exactly. <sighs> to take the opportunity to like lie about me and people I know and people he's met through me like that's okay him. apparently you met all these people through who Rikeda. Did you? who did you meet through Rikeda or is it more so that Rikeda was on Worski live being promoted and met a ton was of it the people? whole the whole fucking hit because me cause telling you... the story about his wife hitting on me I think he might be upset about that. But that did happen. Well, it's reality. It did happen. It did and everybody happen. who is in Knoxville knows it happened. It was in a public bar. Bro, like, we, all know, not, that not... You, we know that you're a cock Look, I'm, I'm sorry, not bro. I'm not trying to be a fucking dick here. Okay? I'm trying to just... I was... I, I'm pretty sure that was a few months ago when I was... I was, uh, I was drunk. And I, I, I said that story, which I've said a few times before. But... Sorry... That's what happened. I didn't do anything with his wife. I didn't fuck his wife. But we didn't make like, out or anything. You can tell but he's just fucking. There was a fucking uh, like a little uh, you know hitting on 
But the thing the is, story. this guy's supposedly like a multi-million. He is a but multi-millionaire his wife. with this huge show and everything, and he shouldn't even be addressing us. But his wife, literally, and him go to swinger resorts, and we're not gonna believe. No one's gonna believe that his wife was like, "Oh, hey, really?" She allowed the massage therapist to grope her twice and went back. Like, but, but yeah, and he's making up that. He's making okay. up fibs for no don't, reason. Don't fucking believe and you've it. You've been telling me that story for three fucking years. Yeah. You first told me that story when in Surfer's fucking kitchen. You were fucking blackout drunk. There was no reason for you to even tell the story. You just told the story. <laughs> Privately. Yeah. And so, like, it's not just something you've come up with out of the blue to spite Rikeda. No. Anyway. Fuck. Uh, about other people's issues, there's nothing you can do. Well, what he's upset about is you, you didn't bang his wife. Deal with them. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. And the way that they deal with them. If you spend your time worrying about that shit and trying to, like, fix everything, you're wasting your life. What? Especially the more people you uh, kind of, like, interact with and meet. There's just no way you can... I don't know what he's talking about right now, by the it, way. He's basically saying that a per certain percentage of people, because he's so famous, will hate him or whatever... But if that's the case, then why are you seething about it? If that's your mindset... I didn't say anything you need until to be tougher. you started pulling this shit. He just needs to be mentally tougher. Yeah. And stop crying about the shit. You know what happened when people shit on me for certain things, Ashton? What? I stopped doing the thing they were shitting on me for. Yeah. And I went, ah, sorry. Keep up with it. As the numbers grow... You're going to attract more people who like and dislike you. And if you try and figure out all that shit, you're not going to figure out any of that shit. Cry well, about it. There's fucking... Rick and he is crying about it. Cry and I'm sure it. he'll continue to cry about it. But when he's doing the stuff that you just saw today, guys, I don't have any choice. Like, I'm going to make fun of it. Yeah. Because it's fucking hilarious. It's jokes. And he deserves it because he's such a smug douchebag. So anyway, that's the Nick Riccata segment for today. Nice. Uh, I hope people enjoyed it. Yeah, it was great. Let's give a round of applause to us, folks.